Ecclesia Sam Chose a Protestant Ecclesia. The Protestant Ecclesia, he give a great set here. Magama Trumpet Club, Sheleba Tehoa, Sheleba Mugeri, Egari Trumpet Ecclesia. This is a prophetic one. Ratu Ratu. A prophetic one. Ratu Ratu. Aha. Le Tete. Le Rusita Kaiba. Somebody is not laughing. Church, well, for me personally, is like home. It's a place where I, I don't feel like I'm all alone in a strange country. It's a place where I meet familiar places, people that could at least um, understand how I feel. I could be free around, and then we help each other. Nicely, you meet them when people by the met go at with a president you could get picture in that more. Trend on that you want to dress well when you're going to a president. So we believe uh, God met the president of president. So because of that, we dress very well and then we come to church just to worship. You know, the beauty of having a community is that you. Tell me your perspective, I tell you your perspective, and then we get better along. So it's actually like um, um, something that is giving us an anchor, a, self or a sense of belonging. So we don't feel lost because initially when we come, we just feel like, where do we go? We don't understand the language and all, but then it's actually like, it's like home. You know, I, actually, I in Tbilisi, it's very peaceful, first of all. The police service is good, you know, almost everywhere there is police patrol and everything. First of all, I'll remember that it's a very safe country. Mm -hmm. I think I'll remember also the people. They're actually very nice people. And the language, because I speak Georgian language also, so I'll remember the food, the people, the language, and actually it's a very good country. I hope I will come back in later. Maybe in future, <laughs> I will definitely come back. <laughs> I believe you want to, if you want to stay in the place for six years, then you need to learn the culture, then you need to learn the language also. So I studied the language in school for like uh, one and a half years. And also in the street, for example, Rotsame, uh, Bazar Shimidi, Esa, Mundaviki, the Brinji, Mashime Piko Bes, Mere Rotsame Mwedi, Es Brinji, Brinji Minda, Lubio Minda, Egari, Katami Minda, Bakali Minda, Ega. It's, that is how I learned language. Mm -hmm. That is how I studied the language. But I had a lot of interest in the language also. The market is just like your regular market and all. It's just that once they see that you are black, they inflate the price. <laughs> the prices increase. For example, if a Georgian is going to buy a tangerine for maybe two larries, when they see you, they say five blaries straight and all. But then it depends on your um, negotiation skills. You can still negotiate and they will beat down the prices and all. But overall, yeah, I see it as an adventure. It's also a way to, you know, be exposed to how people think, how they perceive you. Most people, when they see you, they just feel like Mama Africa. <laughs> and also, um, that's the general perception. And then some people feel like, oh, you are black, you have dollars. <laughs> Bring out the dollars. Well, and, uh, the storyline was that uh, Mr. Mugabe was a 